Hi, my name is Alan Biggins. I work for a company called SolarSave. We fit the solar panels that make the electricity that will make you and Britain better off. The key to that mutual benefit is a government scheme called the feed-in tariff. I have made this video to explain five key points about it. What it is, why the government had to introduce it, why it has support from all the political parties, why that makes it a safe investment and how it can benefit you. So what is the feed-in tariff? It is a government funded scheme which gives individuals, us, money for producing our own electricity. Mostly this will be by having solar panels fitted on our houses. Why did the government introduce it? It's no secret that the world is facing an energy crisis. The rise in world population and the great expansion in the world's industry have meant that fossil fuel is getting steadily scarcer and more expensive. Britain's energy supply is particularly vulnerable. Our North Sea reserves are dwindling. Peak UK oil and gas extraction rates occurred respectively in 1999 and 2000 and the sector is now in permanent decline. Britain, the most crowded country in Europe, looks set to be the greatest importer of natural gas in the world by 2015. As well as being especially vulnerable to price hikes, this country faces a second threat. Being at the end of a 5,000 mile supply line also means being at the mercy of political and military events in some of the world's most volatile areas, such as the Middle East and the ex-Soviet Union. That's why the government had to act. So potentially critical has energy become for Britain that in 2008 the Labour government set up the Department of Energy and Climate Change to oversee its supply and use. But it's not just the Labour Party. The need for renewable energy using the sun, wind and tides is now central policy in all politi political parties. In fact it was a Conservative leader, David Cameron, who was the first to suggest that a feed-in tariff should be introduced into Britain. He got the idea from Germany, where it began, which was, by 2007, producing one-seventh of its electricity from renewables. The Labour government liked the idea so much that Ed Miliband, their then Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change, introduced the feed-in tariff in April 2010. Nick Clegg, the leader of the Liberal Democrats, has set a deadline of 2050 for Britain to become energy independent, saying there needs to be a cross-party dedication to the project equal to that required to put a man on the moon. All political parties agree that renewables are good. It's rare for politicians to agree on anything. On this issue, they have to pull together. It's essential for Britain that they do so. Generate your own power. They're saying it with one voice. That's important. The feeding tariff is not a scheme which will get blown away when the political wind veers, and that's what makes it such a safe investment. In the UK, most green energy comes from large projects such as wind farms. The feeding tariff aims to change that and get the public involved in large numbers, which is why the payback is so generous, and brings me to answer the last of those questions I posed at the start of this video. How can the feeding tariff benefit you? The answer is that it is secure and high yielding. The rate of return is assured and is far higher than on other safe investments. Plus, of course, you get to do something positive and praiseworthy. An investment that appeals to the head and the heart. Unprecedented. To find out more about solar power and the feed-in tariff, please visit my website www.solarsavemk.co.uk. Bye for now.